for joining us today on Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo. We are in studio today to bring you some valuable information about our local businesses while we all deal with the coronavirus challenge. And joining me is the president and CEO of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce, my friend, Miss Eileen Hupp. Eileen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Maria. Now, we are practicing social distancing mm -hmm. today, so Eileen, she has the tape measure. We're supposed to be six feet apart, and we have decided here on set today to be six feet apart. Just to remind everybody that it's really important to stay away from other people, even people that you're used to hugging and greeting and handshaking. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're not doing that. So we are staying apart, mm -hmm. but bringing you valuable information nonetheless. Absolutely. Thanks, All right, Maria. Eileen. So it, this has been quite a difficult time really for everybody. Um, they want people to stay home, to not go out, but there are local businesses that are still open, mm -hmm. many restaurants and, and a lot of people that we're gonna talk about because we wanna remind everybody that they're there, they're there with goods that we need, uh, restaurants are still mm -hmm. open for pickup and takeout. So let's just kind of dive right in. Uh, we can first talk about the grocery stores. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And um, I just want to echo what Maria is saying. Obviously, our businesses um, that need to be open and can be open are doing that. They are all working very, very hard. Their they employees are. are just going the extra mile yep. to provide the goods and services that we need to keep going. And um, you know, I just want to encourage everyone to support our local businesses and to thank them when you're there. Yes. Um, when That's I went around great. Ralph's the other day, I just thanked every employee for their hard work yes. because they are. Um, there and there's plenty of plenty of groceries and our grocery stores are doing a great job at disinfecting and um, restocking right. the shelves. They are many of them, or we're going to talk about that, are offering yes. special hours for um, the senior population to right. go in and shop in a less crowded environment, which is absolutely terrific. So all our grocery stores are open. Um, Ralph's is open eight mm -hmm. to eight. That's currently. right. Yep. Trader Joe's is open nine to seven. Yes. Um, Pavilions is open from seven a.m. to nine p.m. Yep. Right. And uh, Lanata Market in Delhi um, is open in Lanata Bay. And uh, Jocelyn Lopez, who's the owner, um, is open from six thirty to eight in the morning, especially just for the just seniors. Just for our yeah. seniors, mm -hmm. which is really amazing. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to her yesterday, and they are all so grateful that we're doing this because people yes. are forgetting mm -hmm. that these businesses are open. Exactly. And, you know, yes. they're all, in addition to providing the goods and services that we all need, they're also providing very needed jobs. And, Absolutely. You know, Marie and I were talking before this show about the impact, the economic impact that this challenge, the coronavirus virus challenge, is having across the United States and, and the world. And the world. So, yeah. to the extent that we can keep businesses open and keep those jobs going, we want it's to do going that. to help all of us and it's going to help the country and our communities recover that much faster. Right. And I know people are sort of in the panic mode a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, you go to a grocery store, you want to buy 50 rolls of toilet paper and mm -hmm. all the eggs and all the milk. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. We mm -hmm. don't have a shortage of food or paper goods. Mm -hmm. So you go a little bit early, get in line. Mm -hmm. And really, I've been to maybe two or three different ones. Mm -hmm. And if you go early enough, they have everything you exactly. need. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And maybe you have to buy a different brand of soup than you're used exactly. to buying. But there is more than enough food. And I yep. I would I thank you for saying that, Maria, because right. I think we if need we it. all just buy our normal groceries that we buy on a weekly basis, whatever that might be, there is more than enough food. It will help. Yes, absolutely. The one place we really need to talk about are the restaurants. Yes. Because yes. these mm -hmm. restaurants, there are many of them small local businesses mm -hmm. or restaurants that have been here a very long time mm -hmm. and they are open for takeout, for pickup, mm -hmm. for DoorDash. Um, they're just not open for you to come in and enjoy yourself in the restaurants. Mm -hmm. And that's huge because yes. so many of them that we've talked to across the board said nobody is even calling, mm -hmm. they're not coming in, and we need to keep them open. Yeah. No, absolutely, because again, those are much needed jobs. Yes. Um, they need to pay their rent, they need to be able to stay open, mm -hmm. um, and they need to provide those hourly workers with those paychecks. That that's is it. really important. Um, and so we really encourage you, the takeout, the delivery, the curbside mm -hmm. pickup, um, is all very, very safe. Um, that is everything that the CDC and the LA County Department yes. of Public Health is telling us. It's totally fine to do that. You can use your credit card over the phone. So you're not touching anything. Right? Yeah. Um, I 
know with good stuff, for example, you can call them and they'll, you know, when you're there and they'll run out to the curb and hand it to you. Which I love that. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It's like you don't even have to get out of your car. Yes, exactly. Um, and the and I think uh, Marie and I were talking about, you know, if you have any questions, then you get home and you take the things out of their containers and put right. them in your own dishes and throw the containers out. Exactly. So you can mm -hmm. throw them away right away if you have any, you know, exactly. concerns, concerns about the containers. Yeah. Exactly. So. And, you know, there's DoorDash, there's Uber Eats, Postmates. there's Postmates. I think Uber Eats is doing free delivery, uh, waiving the delivery fee at over 100,000 restaurants Great. Um, across the country. So that is so important because, again, those are also jobs. That's okay? right. Those Absolutely. Those are also jobs. Um, and so that's another great way to get your food delivered, um, you know, if you don't want to drive to the restaurant or do the curbside pickout. Let, exactly. Pick up, let them deliver it to you. And let's kind of go through areas because yes. uh, mm -hmm. Golden Cove, um, mm -hmm. we have Osaka, Japanese, yes. Yes. pickup or delivery. They're open from mm -hmm. 11 a.m. to 8. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. We have Subway is open from 8 to 8. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize they were, they were open that early in the morning. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Again, you can't can't stay in the restaurant, but you can pick up mm -hmm. um, and, and take it home with you. Uh, Avenue Italy, pick up or door dash only from 5 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. So for a nice Italian dinner, right. uh, please mm -hmm. go there. Uh, Domino's, mm -hmm. Domino's delivers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's been their, their yes. advertising mm -hmm. forever. Um, Starbucks is also open from 5.30 in the morning till 8.30 at night. But again, you cannot congregate, which people love to do at Starbucks. Right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so Eileen, take mm -hmm. us through um, some mm -hmm. of the other ones, uh, uh, like Peninsula Center. Yes, for exactly. So Peninsula Shopping Center mm -hmm. um, has on their website a list of their restaurants that are open. Great. And so you can check there for update information. We're going to talk a little bit in, in later about That's social good. media oh, yeah. and ways to get updated information. But right. in Peninsula Shopping Center, um, Chipotle, Inca Wasi, um, our uh, Pizza Hut, our The Habit are all open for business. Great. Um, and then when you go over to the Promenade, El Pollo Inca, mm -hmm. Good Stuff, and Rubio's. Again, takeout, delivery, pickup. Okay, they're all open. Of course, the Starbucks there. Yes. And then further down, Silver Spur, the Red Onion. Yes. Um, okay, yeah. And they, mm -hmm. they were so appreciative. When mm -hmm. I talked to them yesterday, yeah. they said, thank you so much for doing this because people don't know that we have, you know, pickup. Mm -hmm. So really right. important. Right. And, you know, here's an idea that um, I got actually from a, a newscaster um, on a, on who was actually in Italy, and he suggested that we do virtual dinner parties. And I thought this was that such a very, cool idea. Yes. So, for example, with Avenue Italy open from 5 to 8 to tonight, as you said, for takeout or delivery. Let's get our dinner, okay? We can do a Zoom, you know, a Zoom meeting or FaceTime or something like that. And eat together. We can have our glass of wine and I like we can that. meet. I'm actually organizing, I'm in a book club and I'm going to organize our book club meeting um, next week on, we're going to do it virtually. We're all going to have our glass of wine. I love I'll that. I'll say, order your dinner from Avenue Italy and we can all chat and get together and still have our book club discussion, but support our local businesses at the same time. Well, and speaking yeah. of congregating, Dominic's uh, off of Western Avenue, mm -hmm. they are amazing, amazing Italian food, very yes. yeah. homey. Mm -hmm. We love them. We love Teresa over there. Mm -hmm. And again, they're used to having people congregating right. there. Yeah. So take it home, call your friends. Yeah. What a great idea. Don't you love the virtual dinner I, party? I do love yeah. that. I mean, I just think that's so good because then that's a good way to stay connected if that's you right. can do Zoom or Skype or FaceTime, or if you don't want to do that, just get on the phone and talk about, gee, I'm having the, you know, the uh, lasagna tonight, and yes. I'm having, or I'm having the tacos, or whatever it might be. That's right. Have that conversation and just enjoy a meal together, even if you're not sitting you know, in the same room. Absolutely. Isn't that fun? Should we do that tonight? We, you know let's what? Do that. I love let's that do idea. I think we should <laughs> at least once a week. Yeah, absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. you also mentioned that people should call each other. Yes. Which I yes. think is hugely important. Yeah. Um, you mm -hmm. said three people you suggested. Yeah. That's that's just my, I thought about that that's this great. morning, Maria, when I was thinking about our, our, our program today. Yes. I would really just suggest in general, think of if you are at home um, for either home with your kids because they're home from school, whatever it is, if you're stuck at home for whatever reason, call three people every day. Just get up and make that your mantra. And, yes. you know, think about if you uh, belong to a church or a synagogue, you probably have a directory. Okay? Right. So get that directory out and think about the person who might be elderly, who maybe you don't know them really well, but you kind of know their name and just call them up and say, hey, I sit across from you every week at That's our right. faith-based organization. I just wanted to say hello. Or think of your neighbors. Um, just make three phone calls a day because social media is great for texting and Facebook yes. and all those kinds of things. And we love that. And it's a great way to get updated information. But that 
human connection via a conversation, I think is really important. So yes. I've told my kids who are spread out all across the country, make three phone, and they're actually all working, but I said make three phone calls And make day. sure that your mom is one of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank For you, sure. Maria. <laughs> well, we're used to hugging and greeting yeah. and touching, and right now we're not supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. So the phone call is, is an excellent way. Yeah. For mm -hmm. sure. Also, we want to remind people that CVS and Rite Aid are yes. open. Yes. That's hugely important if mm -hmm. you need, you know, prescriptions, things Correct. like that. Um, gas stations are open. Absolutely. That Arco station down on Hawthorne mm -hmm. has the cheapest gas anywhere. Mm -hmm. So go to the Arco down there. Mm -hmm. um, the banks are open. Yes, Post absolutely. office. So things that we need to keep us kind of going as a society, they are open. They are open and they will yeah. remain open. And I know that CVS, for example, and I'm sure um, also has curbside pickup. They have that all the time. That's so great. You can, you know, because you might have a kid home from school with a, with a cold and you don't want to go in with your kids. So you can actually call ahead and they will bring your prescription and your order right out to your car. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great to know. Mm -hmm. And then buy gift cards. Yes. Please absolutely. buy gift cards. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. From yeah. the restaurants, from wherever, mm -hmm. and keep them um, keep them for later. Yes, absolutely. You can donate them to a silent auction for a nonprofit down the road, or you can use them yourself. But that will help these, particularly the restaurants and even the retail shops, that will help them get cash in the till right now, which they really need to be able to stay open. So, yeah. Exactly. And mm -hmm. speaking of donating, mm -hmm. uh, they need blood. Blood yes. is kind of yes. really yes. important, and they're asking us to let everybody know it's safe. Mm -hmm. um, they're not overcrowding, but they really, they're just in need of blood right, right. now. Right, exactly. So you can contact the American Red Cross, or yes. you can contact any of our local hospitals. We have um, Torrance Memorial, Providence Little Company, Mary Medical Center, in yeah. both Torrance and San Pedro, Kaiser Permanente, and UCLA Health. Um, there's City of Hope, there's Cedar sinai Just go on their websites, and they will have information about that. But that is so important, Maria. So Thank important, you. yes. Yeah. And the nonprofits, you were bringing that up. Yes, yes. So I've been contacted as the Chamber of Commerce over the last several days by many of our local nonprofits who, you know, who routinely have food banks and food pantries for people who um, need that kind of support. Right. And clearly now the demand for food pantries and food banks is rising. I mean, the, um, the number of people who are unemployed, who are being laid off or furloughed or having their hours cut um, is dramatically rising because of all these businesses that are, are needing to shutter or cut hours or whatever that might be. Yes. Um, and so that is increasing the need for, um, um, for, or the demand for food pantry and things like that. So think about the the Tobermans, the Boys and Girls Club, the Rainbow Services. You all know the many nonprofits we have that service the, the South Bay community. Sure. We have a list of them on our chamber website. Great. You know, feel free to call them up and ask, what can I do? You know, yeah, it might well, be how as can simple I help? as give them your credit, you know, give them a credit card over the phone or something and, and make a $20 donation, whatever it would be, um, whatever you can do to help them. We're trying to connect um, the nonprofits with um, some of the restaurants that might have some food left because they their, you know, their demand is down because of no in-person dining, that kind of a thing. So just remember these nonprofits because they are serving the very neediest in our community. And now they're serving a lot of blue collar and middle class people who were hourly workers who are out of jobs. Maybe it's a, a, a grandmother who was a school bus driver who's now not driving a school bus. Right. So um, we just really want to remember those nonprofits are going to need our help. And, and what are some mm -hmm. of the businesses saying to you when they call? I know that they, they're kind of at their wits end right okay. now. Well, they very much, um, they appreciate everything that everyone is doing. They appreciate the, um, the support from our cities mm -hmm. and from like our PVTV and our local newspaper all of the our media are trying to get information out to the community Absolutely. that they're open okay right um, they are so they are very grateful for that um, and they want to they're trying to preserve jobs preserve their they're concerned about their employees and so they want to be able to stay open as much as they can right and so they're just asking for help and for the communities to support to do what you feel comfortable but please take out delivery pick up you know, anything, all of those things are fine. Yeah, so and, it's all and good. Hours are yeah. subject to change. So, Absolutely. you know, call and yes. just find out the latest information. Yeah. Also, you mm -hmm. can sign up for alerts. Talk about that. Yes. And so this just in general for all of our residents, I would definitely encourage you sign up for the alerts from your local cities. You can go on the website, our, you know, rpvca.gov. Yes. You mm -hmm. can go on to Rolling Hills Estates. If you live in RPV, you can still get alerts from RHE. Okay? That's right. Just sign up for them yep. because our cities are 
they're the most reliable source of information on the local level. And our cities, all four of them on the peninsula, have been doing an outstanding Amazing job. working together. Working together, mm -hmm. getting information. They're in constant touch with the county public health, with the county of LA, with the state. With the, They're getting constant information on that. And so they're getting out the necessary information to our residents. So please sign up for those alerts. They're good to have anyway. But it's just right, right now, that would be the best place. Go to the city websites. I know that RPV and RHE, are, they're all putting current information on the websites. So right. get those alerts. Um, Follow. I'm also going to suggest that you follow, if you're on social media, follow our cities and please follow the Palos Verdes Peninsula Chamber of Commerce yes. on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And what we are doing is as we're following all our businesses, mm -hmm. and so as El Pollo Inca, for example, posts something and says, hey, we're offering a discount or we've got takeout, we're reposting that and sharing that. Great. And that's where you're going to get your most up-to-date information. On Twitter in particular, if you're inclined to do Twitter, I know mm -hmm. our cities get a lot out on Twitter. Yeah. We're also, from the chamber, we are reposting um, uh, notices from our schools, from our libraries, and from public agencies such as Metropolitan Water District or West Basin Municipal Water. We want you to know there is plenty of water. The water is yes, safe. Yes, the water, exactly. But again, if you want to hear that, follow the chamber because we're getting that information out. So we're all, I am very encouraged, the cities, the public agencies, the Chamber of Commerce, our schools, our libraries are all working together as we always do, but yes. obviously now more than ever to get up-to-date information out to our residents. Because at the end of the day, if you've got that correct information and you feel up-to-date, that will alleviate your concerns. You'll see there is no reason to panic. Things right. are moving forward. A lot is being done. Yes. So we encourage you to get current information from the Chamber of Commerce, from the cities. Um, the Chamber, we're open for business. You can call us. Anything we can do to She's help you. She's always working. It doesn't <laughs> matter what happens. <laughs> we are there. Um, and the cities are working. They may Their doors may be closed to the public, but they all the city staffs are working remotely to provide those important city services. So, right. I mean, we're here. We're at RPV TV, right? This is an Absolutely. example. Absolutely. That's right. So get the information. Get the facts. Um, but I would encourage you, follow social media, particularly from the cities and from the Chamber of Commerce um, and PVPUSD. That's where you'll get your most up-to-date information. And we also want to remind everybody to mm -hmm. please, please, please wash your hands. I know it <laughs> sounds like a simple thing mm -hmm. to do, but they say, say your ABCs or sing happy birthday twice. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands a couple of times yeah. and mm -hmm. you, you can get the disposable gloves when mm -hmm. you go out to wear those if you feel more comfortable in a store or what have you. Um, use the hand sanitizers. Really, it's about being clean and not touching your face with your hands because mm -hmm. we pick up so much when we're everywhere. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. Know? And you know, the one thing I would add on to that is um, I had written um, an article I, um, to our chamber members about a week ago about what I call, well, actually, it wasn't my term. It was a term called infodemic. And it mm. was actually, um, the word was created by the World Health Organization probably close to 17 or 18 years ago in the early 2000s. And the concept is that in situations such as we have now, there is an overabundance of information, both good and maybe not so accurate. Right. And it tends to overload us. That's right. So um, again, I would suggest get information from reliable sources. Yes. Um, get it from your local cities, get it from the Chamber of Commerce, get it from your school district, get it from the County of LA. Get that information. Make Take the precautions that you feel are appropriate That's right. for you and yeah. your family and then move forward. But don't fall prey to an overload of information. Don't be sitting there glued to every news media outlet, you know, yes. um, and every news alert for 12 hours because I just don't, and the mental health professionals are telling us that it's is not just good. not good. In fact, um, I just yeah. saw Hallmark is putting on Christmas movies exactly, yeah. because they want you to feel okay, it kind of happy being at home. And exactly. Just kind yeah. of enjoy that time. Do something you have wanted to do for a long time. Maybe catch up on, you know, a series, read a book. I mean, mm -hmm. there are there's really a lot, a lot of there. things you can do exactly. that but we never have time exactly. to do. Exactly. So just don't fall prey to an infodemic, which is yes. an epidemic of information. Um, because that can sometimes, according to this World Health, it actually was an article in the Wall Street Journal a week ago Sunday, um, what, or Saturday and Sunday, the idea is, is that sometimes by falling prey to an overload of information, whether it's accurate or not, can be more damaging Absolutely. than the underlying 
health crisis that is there. So I just want to encourage everybody to take a deep breath, know that there is no reason to panic. Our essential services is there, are there, our cities are there for us, the Chamber of Commerce is there for us. That's right. And so we're going to keep getting information to you through all these channels and keeping you updated on what's open, you know, what you need to know. So that's really important. As Maria said, yeah, take advantage of some of the things that are out there. Um, I think Google is offering, um, you can do uh, tours on the internet of all the national parks. Like how oh, cool is that? Oh, it's great, yes. So, um, and coming back to what you brought, brought up earlier, Maria, just call people, get on the phone and talk to people. Right, yeah. well, I look forward to hugging you in the very near Absolutely. future. <laughs> we'll all get through this together. Eileen, thank you so much for being here and sharing so much valuable information with all of us. Thank you for having us, Maria. We really appreciate everything that RPV TV and the city does for us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for watching. Remember to wash your hands. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.